Welcome back to the Daily Mix and our Make It an Impact segment. We are introducing you or reintroducing you to people making an impact in people's lives here in Arizona. And the Special Olympics Arizona has been a great support of channel athletes. And Jamie Hickerman is yes. with us today. Tell us about the Special Olympics. Jamie, um, I just have to say from my personal experience, it has changed my life being a part of that when I first got introduced to it back in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. And then coming here and, and seeing all the things you do and then over in San Diego. So, I mean, the Special Olympics play a big part in my heart. I know the history of it, but let's tell people a little about the Special Olympics because I know people hear about it. Sure. They need to know what it's about. So locally, Special Olympics Arizona was created in 1975, and we've grown to 25,000 athletes that we serve across the state of Arizona today. Uh, we provide training and competitive opportunities for our athletes in 20 different sports a year. A lot of people think of us as just a once a time a year track and field meet, yeah. and that's not it. We do just about any sport you can think of. Yeah, and the great thing about this is that it's not just about our athletes, it's about the families. It is. Let's talk about that because this is a great um, way that families can see their pretty much family member achieve in things that they didn't think they could do. Yes. Uh, you know, we've developed a unified sports program nationally um, that pairs those with and without intellectual disabilities on the same teams together. So not only do siblings now get to be involved in Special Olympics and compete with their loved one, um, moms, dads, anybody can get involved. And it's really a community that has developed around our athletes. You know, they get to go and see their friends that may live, you know, thousands of miles away and have a great time competing together. Yeah, and as people kind of like wonder about the Special Olympics, started by the Kennedy family, it by did. the Shrivers and everyone, and they're still involved. Even the grandchildren and the people, you know, with the organization still get involved, especially when we have the big Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, I know we've had it here, which is really nice. Um, but you just said recently that there are, of course, still activity going on, still events happening. And when do those really happen for us in the Valley? You know, we have just about 600 events a year that we do. That's comp competition, fundraisers, anything that you can think of. So every weekend we seem to be very busy. Um, and, you know, we have one coming up on March 14th. That's a big event down in Mesa. That's our Chicago baseball night. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And so we're selling tickets and bringing people out. But, you know, our athletes compete every day and, and share a victory yeah. and what they're able to accomplish. And so we're asking people to come out and celebrate in that victory. All right. Let's talk about, uh, of course, you guys going uh, pretty much onto our Capitol Hill, state legislature, yeah. everywhere. What was that all about? Originally, we started uh, three years ago to provide awareness of what Special Olympics Arizona is doing in the community. Um, we brought athletes and law enforcement coaches in to really talk to our state legislators and let them know what's going on. And this year, we actually were able to support a bill that we have for funding for Special Olympics at the state level. It's SB 1349. Um, our athletes were able to go out and, and really educate and ask for their support, um, something that we haven't had before. And then we also did our cap national Capitol Hill Day, and we took an athlete, a unified partner, and a teacher, a coach, um, in to speak to our national legislators about what's going on in Arizona and how they can support there. I love it. All right. There's always one great story. Tell me one great story about, of course, one of the athletes or someone that's touched you or has touched a lot of people. I think the most fun that I uh, remember recently, we just had our cheer competition, a local competition last week. And I was taking video and pictures, just enjoying the day. Um, I am not a cheerleading type of girl. I played basketball <laughs> my entire life. Um, but it's just to see the joy uh, on the faces and have fun, go out and dance and, yeah. and celebrate. Um, we took a video and put it up on our, our social media, on our Facebook page. And it's the most views that we've ever had and the most likes that we've ever had. Um, but just the energy that we get to show the community and what we're doing is tremendous. I love it. I'm going to tell you my little story, and that was being at that finish line as they're running and um, them running to you and hugging you. Mm -hmm. And it was, it, that just was amazing to see them and, and to see some of them who've never competed that way, just to be excited. And then the part that really got me was where one of the guys stopped, got his friend, and they ran across the yes. finish line together. So that's always one of the touchy ones. Yes, so. it happens quite often. It's amazing. How can people find out more about the Special Olympics Arizona? So they can either visit SOAZ.org, um, that is our state website, um, or for Chicago Baseball Night, ChicagoBaseballNight.org. Thank you, Jamie. Thank, Thank you. you.